Okay, so this is Ipsy March Glam Bag. I'm sure by now y'all know that Ipsy is a monthly subscription. Every single month we get like five beauty products. It's random. So far I've received Tarte, Smashbox, NARS, NYX. So I've received some pretty great brands so far. So this is going to be March. This month, I think it's inspired by creativity. So the bag is, it's kind of a DIY bag. So the bag is gonna be something that you can color on. They gave me a yellow and pink marker to go along with it. And I'm thinking this month, it's to kind of inspire your creativity. That's the card that says create. This month, it's all about inspiring your creativity. So that I think that's why the bag is completely empty. And they gave me colors to kind of like fill it in to inspire. Yeah, I thought this was cute. I would actually leave it blank just like this because it's pretty. This is actually a bag I don't think I want to give away. So this month is all about create. On the back, it typically has, um, you know, random information to kind of keep you connected with the brand, let you know what's going on with the brand. There's also websites that you can link to that you see that I have posted up. It's always like different articles, different people. I really like to go through and read them. It's always sometimes like random inspiring stories or like tips and tricks on beauty care or makeup, stuff like that. Okay, so the first thing that I received in the bag that I tried is going to be this purifying mud mask and it looks exactly like like mud, kind of like baby food a little bit. When I was using it, I actually used the brush that I received also. So the brush, first of all, the mud mask, it was made from the Dead Sea. It's most mineral rich mud on earth. It also has kaolin and chamomile. Sorry if I mispronounced that. I'm not familiar with that one. But it helps to even out your skin tone, smooth your skin's texture, and boost hydration. It unclogs your pores and will not leave your skin feeling dry and tight. And it can also be used as an overnight spot treatment. But I just use mine as a mask. I put it on for two minutes using the brush, which the brush is it's a multi-purpose brush anyways. It's meant for highlighter, bronzer, contour, or blush. But I used it to put the mud mask on. And it was really soft. I just use it for the mud mask because I have so many other brushes that Ipsy's been sending me, so I didn't know what to use that one for. So I was like, well, I'm sitting right in front of my camera in my little nook and I don't want to get up and go to the bathroom and I don't want to get my hands messy, so I might as well just use the brush to apply it. So that's exactly what I did. Um, I really like how it left my skin feeling afterwards. It didn't leave it with that really tight, nasty, dry feeling. It left it feeling really soft. This is something that I would purchase myself. I like that they sent a good amount. They sent me like, probably like three uses in the bag. Keep in mind the bag's only like eight dollars a month. After washing my face with the mud mask it was perfect because they sent me a skin cream. So this is called, I guess the brand is Skin Iceland. It's a pure cloud cream. Um, it says that it's great for all skin types. It's great for sensitive skin. It hydrates and gives you a smoother, softer complexion. And it didn't leave that greasy residue like you know how some skin creams are really really thick and you have to let it sit for like five ten minutes before you can put makeup on this one seemed to dissolve instantly and then it had like this light fresh almost like citrus scent to me and it dissolved pretty quickly so i've actually been using this for the past few days and i did use it right after i washed with the mud mask today so i used the mud mask and then I put this on. It's like they sent me a nice little spa day so it was so cute. It's like here, color, here, use a mud mask, here, now moisturize. And one thing that I do have on right now that I actually lost, it's the eyeliner that <laughs> I have posted up there. I don't know what I did with it. It's so little and it's hard to place. Oh, I know what I did. And see, and this one's by Tarte. It's called, <laughs> it's called Sex Kitten Eyeliner. On the website it said that it's an inky black and creamy shade it's waterproof it glides on smooth it's really pigmented yes 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 and yes but i was trying to use it over my ultra pigmented bare minerals eyeshadow and it wasn't having it so i have it on right now but it's really faint you can barely tell but i'm sure oh i can show you right now actually i don't mind doing this see i'm like i'm sure it's really dark and really pigmented i just um i have eyeshadow on and i like to put my eyeliner on last so like this is the boldest thing that shows up that you see but it just was it was struggling it was struggling over the eyeshadow so it's not as bold and as vivid as this right here I've never heard of it and I don't want to mess up the pronunciation of it so I'm just gonna show it to you and you can make your own interpretation 
of what the brand's name is, but it is a Fermatic eyeshadow. I got the color Lola. I wanted the color Ariana because it was a really bronze. It was such a beautiful color, but for some reason they keep sending me pinks. I don't know if it's in my profile or if I need to remove something or edit something, but they keep sending me pink, so I was a little disappointed about this, and that's why I don't have it on right now. So I was just gonna put it on my hand to see how pigmented it truly is that they claim it is on the website. It says that it's blendable, smudge proof, crease resistant. Um, it is, it's really pretty. Not saying it's ugly, there's just a few shades of pink that I care for. This is just like a light Barney one and I'm not really feeling it on my eyes. So I'm just gonna try a little bit of it out. Okay, it's a lot darker than I thought it was gonna be. But it's still really light, it's still really faint, like... Don't need to layer? Is that what you do with eyeshadow? You layer it? I'm not a beauty guru, we talked about this. Some of my girlfriends, I'm like, y'all need to make YouTube channels, I don't know what I'm doing. Why am I out here not knowing what I'm doing and y'all are reserving your talents? <laughs> so, this is not a color I really care for. It's beautiful, not, don't get me wrong, but it's just not a color I care for and it's not one that I would want to put on me. But I do have a shirt that matches this color actually, so I might actually hang on to it. So that's all I got in my bag for March. Tell me below which products interests you the most and I will see you next month for April's Glam Bag.